Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here's your daily technical analysis of stock index futures. I'll start with the UK FTSE futures. It's a lot to process here, so I'll start with yesterday's action. A long-legged, indecisive doji cross. The base of the action was supported this time, unsurprisingly I suppose, by the combined flatlining medium moving average currently at 7046 and the short medium moving average currently at 7045. The top side petered out just before the lesser Fibonacci level at 7144. Now this next bit is very very important as I've said all this week and last week as well. In the greater scheme of things we are set for a possible monthly key reversal for September here the close of business like night last night. If we'd closed either over 7097 or under 6956 then we'd be on. Well the market closed in between those two levels and opted for the lesser outside month pattern. This will have strategic implications for this market. Now so far today a lower open in the midst of the medium and short medium moving averages and subsequent move lower. Prices have penetrated from above the important recent 50% Fibonacci line at 69.76, but have since moved back up higher again, though well, relatively not that far. We're still in between the overhead moving averages and this 50% Fibonacci support below. German DAX futures. A counter to the counter bearish outside day and bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. Now this stifled the previous session's reactionary bullish engulfing pattern. Interestingly, prices managed to close right on the lesser Fibonacci level at 15.289 and near the compound GAN number of 15.309. Overhead, we still have the flatlining medium moving average. That's currently at 15.615. And also the projected 50% Fibonacci line at 15.629 and the almost flatlining short medium moving average, currently 15.656. Below we also still have the support of the previously mentioned old September to December 2020 reverse head and shoulders neckline currently at 15065 and the nearby rising long moving average currently at 15029. I'd also now add the low for September as support and that's at 14998. Finally again please note that unlike other stock index futures this which had similar moves in the DAX futures here there is no monthly key reversal possible here or has been here in September. Now, so far today, well a really interesting move. A lower open and a drop down through all the supports enough that the market only finally stopped just before a lesser Fibonacci, sorry a lesser low at 19, uh, 14,954 from May. Then we had a reverse back up through all the supports that became resistances and are now once again supports. A highly unusual action that has at this time left today looking like a bull hammer and the whole of September on the verge of possibly being a double bottom Adam and Adam type. Mind you it is still early on that one. US E-mini S&P futures. This is a long commentary. Where to begin? Okay so let's start with yesterday and work your, our way outwards. A combined key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. Not that big of an ask usually as the previous session was an indecisive doji cross. However the action was quite a large one, unnecessary large to be honest for what was achieved and what was needed to be achieved. The market opened right on the gently rising medium moving average currently 43.63, had a high just under the broken May to September uptrend currently at 43.96 with a very very interesting high for today that particular day especially and drop it and drop down through not only the medium moving average but also the upper trend line currently at 43.55 of the old May to July rising wedge pattern. Prices finally slowed, halted and closed near the early September low of 42.93 and three quarters. It was the lowest close for September and the lowest since July. Now this now brings me to the main part of my commentary. I have been talking now for about two weeks 
about a possible pattern that was developing over September here in this and some other stock index futures. I'd warned that this was one of the stock index futures that had done enough in September to make a possible monthly key reversal. We needed a close last night, either over 4521 or under 4389. Then we'd be on. Now, you remember I asked you to keep a hold of that high for yesterday? Well, it was at 43.89, right on the number needed yesterday to make the difference between a monthly key reversal and an outside month. In the end, the month of September closed as a monthly key reversal down. This obviously has some big strategic implications. And whilst I do not necessarily expect an immediate huge move lower today, this week, or maybe even next month, this month, it is worth remembering that this exists. Additionally, and it may be a big additionally. Additionally, there is one more pattern that is out there forming at this time, with just today to go. We're on the verge of also making a weekly key reversal for this week. If we close tonight either above 44.65 or under 44.45, then we'd be on. Right now, we are looking at a heavily bearish weekly key reversal down for this week. So far today, a slightly higher open, but then a drop down to the lesser Fibonacci level at 42.56 before a pullback up to a little over, well, unchanged and a little bit higher now. It's looking like a possible hammer pattern. There are also the possibility that the action now this year may, maybe, can be, could be seen as a possible bump and run reversal top or an ascending and inverted scallop pattern. However, it is early on those yet, and I will look at these when I have the chance to see more data. Maybe next week. French CAC 40 futures. An immediate countering outside day and bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. The market, interestingly, opened higher over the very slowly rising medium moving average, currently 65.92, and the broken upper downtrend trend line extension of the recent possible June to September diamond pot top, currently at 65.80, before moving higher to the short moving average, currently 66.04, and then falling all the way to Tuesday's low, which actually was in turn based on the lesser Fibonacci level at 64.94. Prices then pulled back a bit, but we were well down compared to the previous session's action. Going Now going back a bit to the possible diamond top, the June to September diamond top pattern, if this indeed turns out to be a diamond top pattern, has a potential target X in the 6242 area. It is far from a perfect diamond, especially as the low was formed before the high of the diamond. However, it's still there. I should also po out, point out once again something I highlighted last week and also earlier this week. The first two days of last week could still be seen as an island bottom with all the implications that brings. Finally, this contract shares something with the DAX stock index futures. It will not be a monthly, or was not a monthly key reversal here in September. Not here. So far today, a gapping lower move and an exploration down towards the low of September at 63.73 and the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 63.48. However, the market stalled there before reaching any of these and has lately filled the gap and moved back up to yesterday's close, a little bit higher than that, and just over the Fibonacci level at 64.94. Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.